Tchaikovsky, it's a lot of pieces that are called Skochne. Skochne is uh, a dance, but uh, most of the uh, Skochne in this sense uh, probably were played as uh, pieces for the table. So they uh, performed it at the table as the kind of a show pieces. Uh, because they're fairly complex in, in many ways and the uh, violins just would have to express different feelings. You know, fun and sadness uh, on the violin. This is the part of the fun playing this, uh, this music. So I'll play one of the scorchness. Usually the scorchness they had different parts. The piece has few parts and uh, you will see a rhythmical element and a violinistic element in it. The piece has three parts, A, B, C, B. And C is a very interesting modulation, kind of a, a joyous, joyous part that then uh, becomes sad. And this is an interesting, interesting part in it. And then they return into the B. So listen to the, this is kind of a very typical scorch name. Well, the, this is interpretation, of course, but my point in playing uh, these texts is to show you the possibilities that are hidden in these musical texts, because the great Jewish violinists, great artists of the past, the whole point on this uh, show pieces on the uh, listening pieces were to say as much as possible. I still heard this violinist because if you play just what is written, what what you have uh, here in the transcription, it's very very uh, cursory notation, and one should not just play what's written, but try to see the rhythmical possibilities and intonational possibilities that these melodies have. That's what I can say about this particular scotch.